Hey everybody, welcome to this latest installment of Droid Nuts TV. My name is Jeremy, and we hope you're enjoying your Super Bowl Sunday. It's been a great weekend, but it's even it's been an even better week in Android. Sorry we're behind the uh, behind the curve right now as far as getting this info to you, but it's like I said, it's been crazy. But first off, we're going to talk about the HTC Pyramid. This is a rumored super phone for that should be available for T-Mobile sometime in May. Like I said, this is all rumors right now, so take it with take it for what it is. But the information we have heard about so far is a 4.3 inch QHD display. It's similar to the one, actually it's the same one as the one as what's on the Motorola Atrix and the Droid Bionic. The resolution capabilities are about 540 by 960. Not bad, not a bad little screen. The processor inside is going to be a 1.2 gig dual core Snapdragon processor and has 4G connectivity. Like I said, not a whole lot's known, but if everything holds true, you should see some more information here coming pretty soon, given that they have a rumored May launch date. So stay tuned. Samsung Galaxy S2. Team or uh, tweakers and Sam firmware believe that they have what's officially going to be installed inside the phone a week early from Mobile World Congress, apparently. But they're saying there's a 4.5 inch Super AMOLED Plus display, which is uh, a little bit bigger than the 4.3 we were expecting, but still, that's that's good news. It also has the Orion dual core processor, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing is capable of. So I don't know more to come on that, but the phone also have Gingerbread installed. It'll have NFC connectivity or capability, an 8 megapixel with LED flash rear facing camera. There's no there's no re release of uh, whether it's 720p or 1080p recording, but if it's anything like these rest of these dual core processors, 1080p should not be an issue. Otherwise, that's going to be an epic fail on Sammy's part. But more to come on that. It also has a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, Bluetooth connectivity, Wi Fi connections, and also a 32 gig micro SD uh, memory card slot. So, sounds promising. I'm looking forward to seeing more when uh, Samsung officially announces everything over at Mobile World Congress next week. So, also, they should be announcing the Samsung uh, Galaxy 4G, which is being rumored that it should be available this month. Now, for those who don't know, the Samsung 4G is basically the vibrant 4G. It's just that Samsung changed the name up because, well, they wanted to make it look different. But it's got the same hardware specs as the as the vibrant. The only difference is it's got now that it has the 4G connection and also Froyo. Those are the big thing, the big changes. But T-Mobile is also going to use it to launch their uh, T-Mobile TV. Uh, I don't really know much whole, a whole lot about as what they're going to be doing on it, but. From what I understand, all it is is basically you can be able to watch live TV and some recorded programs on your phone. That's a pretty cool feature. I just want to see how well, there's no idea like what channels you get or however it's going to pan out or if you have to pay extra yet, but I would expect that. So also Samsung Media Hub will be able to, you can watch recorded movies and everything. So And on top of that, you do get the movie Inception. So that's a, that's a good feature. And if you don't know what's on the Vibrant, it does have a one gig processor, the Hummingbird processor. Um, a 4-inch Super AMOLED display. It has, like I said, 2.2, a 5-megapixel camera with 720p recording, 16-gig uh, micro SD, and obviously HSPA Plus connection. So, not bad. The phone itself isn't bad. I'm looking forward to seeing how Froyo works on it, and so maybe the rest of us can get updated here really soon. Which, by the way, I will throw out that apparently the Fascinates 2.2 version is in testers' hands right now and should be hopefully coming to us pretty soon. I'm crossing my fingers. But moving on, T-Mobile also, more news for you guys, the LG G Slate. Honeycomb for T-Mobile, and get this, most like, or probably in March. That's according to LG. The The tablet itself is going to be, it looks like it's pretty amazing, honestly. From the, If it looks anything like the spec sound, we, you guys are in for a really good treat because the as far as hardware, check it out. Tegra 2 processor, the dual core 1 gig, of course, the 32 gigs of internal storage, 3D video recording in full 1080p via a stereoscopic 5 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash. <laughs> but uh, basically, you're going to be able to record in 3D. The tablet will display 3D, however, it's only in 720p. And get this, you do need glasses. So there's no words whether it does come with glasses or whether you're going to have to buy some more, but more to come on that. And I'm sure I would expect to have to pony up some extra cash. The screen itself is an 8.9 inch, like I said, 3D capable, multi-touch display. It's got a 2 megapixel front facing camera, a built-in gyroscope and accelerometer, and of course 4G connection. That, like I said, 
3D things aside, the specs on that are pretty much equivalent up or up there with Zoom. I would imagine that it's going to come up after, oh, it will come up after the Zoom if it launches on schedule, but or what we think it is. Uh, but you can't beat that, honestly, because the Zoom's going to Verizon. T-Mobile has always kind of uh, lagged on a little bit as far as coming up with some really hard, really, really powerful hardware specs. You do have the the Galaxy tab, but this one is just going to blow it out. This is this is one I feel is going to be the first real tablet for T-Mobile, and it, I think it's going to do really well. So keep your eyes out on that. There's no pricing yet. T-Mobile saying an early or a spring launch date, so we're hoping they kind of stick with LG, but we'll see. So yeah, more to come. Next up is going to be the Verizon 4G information. Droid Life's got some information saying that they could that Verizon may launch the 4G connection or data plans starting at $29.99 for unlimited. Same as what you're paying for 3G right now. That, I think that's a great idea. I hope it sticks and I hope it stays like that for whenever the rest of us get the 4G connection. But if not, uh, uh, we'll see how much how, how it turns out. But that's a really cool deal for those of you who are in an area that have 4G connection and uh, will pick up the Thunderbolt or the Samsung phone that comes out pretty soon. Um, so. Uh, We'll see. Hopefully that that sticks, but we won't know until we ever get a Thunderbolt release date. Which coincidentally <laughs> was kind of leaked out by a Best Buy in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Apparently, these guys put up on their Facebook that the HTC Thunderbolt was going to launch on Valentine's Day, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, that the Motorola Zoom should launch on February 24th. The this put the whole mobile world into a frenzy because. Everybody, this this place got mad or a mad amount of hits just off this information alone. Once it got leaked out, they have since then pulled it. But apparently, as of right now, an update information is that uh, you can go into a store, a Best Buy, and now and pre-order the HTC Thunderbolt. It still has no release date on it. You're gonna put fifty bucks down, and I believe it's still two forty nine ninety nine uh, for the phone. But like I said, not, for some reason that phone just can't get launched for whatever reason it is. But yeah, so more like I said, if you were interested in the HTC, HTC Thunderbolt and being one of those first to get it, you like the Sense UI or whatever, then uh, definitely check it out. If you're still wondering about it, go check out our video of the HTC Thunderbolt here on uh, Joy Nuts and uh, see what you think. It's not a bad phone, but speaking of Motorola, also we're gonna throw out that AT&T put out a press release on uh, earlier this week saying that the Motorola Atrix will be available for pre-order on February 13th. And at the same time, though, they will be having the brick-and-mortar stores carrying the phones and some other retailers for uh, by no later than March 6th. As of right now, the pricing stands at $199 on contract, so for a two-year contract, and $499 for the two-year contract with a mail-in rebate for $100 after you sign up for their smartphone data plan and their uh, tethering, which gives you about 4, gig four gigs for about $45 a month. Um, that's not a bad deal. The retail price alone of the laptop dock is going to cost about four ninety nine. So if you're even considering it, I would just go ahead and put up the money now. Otherwise, you might, you're going to sit. Otherwise, it's going to cost you an extra two hundred bucks later on. So it's definitely a very cool feature. Like I said, check out our other video, hands on or up close with the Motorola Atrix and the other expandability ports. But <coughs> excuse me, the Entertainment Access Kit will also be up for retail for one hundred eighty nine dollars. It includes the Motorola HD Multimedia Dock, a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and a remote control. So, not a bad deal for $189. But I know it is expensive for everything. But once you see how everything real, full, uh, just fits together, it's not going to be a question of whether you spend the money. It's just when you actually go ahead and do it. So, definitely good features coming out. So, before we let you guys go and do up the rest of your Super Bowl Sunday, we're going to uh, final out with some uh, events that happened this week. This week we also had the Google Android event or the the Google event where they demonstrated uh, Honeycomb more in depth, but it was a really cool feature or a really cool uh, little event. Not a whole lot done except for they did show the Motorola uh, UI up close. I'm sorry, the Google UI up close, and I like the new tweaks they've done. The notifications feature is on the bottom, and I like that a lot better. I think it's a lot more. Free form, early, uh, free forming, and uh, flow is a lot easier, but definitely looks really good. All the different stuff. It was kind of funny to see that CeeLo kind of stood him up on a, whether it was on accident or not. I don't know, but it was still funny nonetheless. Uh, 
another thing is that the existing apps will play fine on the actual event, on the whole thing as well. So if you're been wondering about that, kind of like the Galaxy tab, rest assured knowing that Google's taking care of it now. So really cool. And on top of that, the new web-based market. If you haven't gone to Android or market.android.com, check it out because anything you can get on your phone, you can now search for on the internet, which makes it a whole lot easier to check things out. There were some bugs when it first launched uh, Wednesday or so, but they said they said there to be fi they've already been fixed. So uh, try it out, see if you can break the system. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it's really gonna be a cool thing once it really gets up and going. So good feature. On Monday, tomorrow, TI is holding a virtual press or virtual press conference about uh, what they say is gonna. They are aiming to transform the con the concept of mobile. That's their words. So obviously, they must be talking about 3D. Uh, we imagine they're talking about their OMAP4 dual core processors, which should be coming out here very soon because they haven't really given us much information about them. So I'm looking to see what they release. Sprint's been really quiet. They're supposedly announcing some big information tomorrow as well, so hope maybe it coincides. I don't know. More to come, though. Stay tuned. We'll get you the information. Finally, Google I.O. tickets are going on sale tomorrow. If, you have, if you're a developer or if you're just interested in going out there, you need to get ready to go up and get those tickets quickly because they will sell out fast. The event is uh, May 10th through 11th at the Moscone Center. Or it's also, if you decide to do the boot camp because it's your first time, it'll go on May 9th as well. But the pricing is up until 416 or April 16th, you're looking at 450 bucks. After that, until the event is 550. Uh, students and teachers do have the academia pricing for 150 bucks. And of course, boot camp is a hundred dollars as well. So if you have any, if you're looking to get involved in the community and check out the rest of the guys, there's gonna be a lot of people there. It should be a great event. It's worth going to if you're, uh, <coughs> into that, uh, into developing the next big app that we'll be using. So, if you do, let us know so we can try it out and tell you tell you what you, what we think about the whole thing. Like I said, it's been a great week. We hope you enjoy the rest your the big game today. Make sure you check out Motorola's new uh new commercial that they're putting out the making fun of the iPhone or the 1940 1984 esque concept. But should be a really good game. Uh, it's a lesser of two evils for me, but we hope you enjoy the show. Remember to hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your brother, <laughs> tell anybody, come check us out. We want, we want to hear what you have to say about us too, so leave your questions, comments, concerns, whatever. Hit us up. All right? Take it easy, guys.